question naman for Luis. Uh, may kumakalat daw na sa social media, ang mga picture mo daw sa eksena niyo sa falls. Anong reaction mo dito? And anong reaction ng family mo nang mapanood nila ang uh, yan, yung mga nakita sa camera, yung mga private parts mo daw? Uh, Paanmute na lang, Luis. Um, ano ba? Uh, well, I, um, to be honest, hindi planado yun eh. Uh, not like Crash, I didn't have the balls, the courage to go all out ng walang plaster. But uh, I had plaster on set bago sumulong sa tubig. But dahil nga nasa waterfall, so rushing ang water, malakas yung current, uh, hindi na kinaya ng plaster na inita na siguro. Ayun, lumangoy, naging entrance fee na lang sa, <laughs> sa waterfalls. Uh, siya na yung pambayad ng aming ano, pag-i-utilize sa kanyang beauty ng location. Uh, my reaction to the photos? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not easy, to be honest. It's not easy. I mean, I don't think anyone, or unless you're a porn star, diba, you would be completely proud and okay about it. But I'm proud of the film. Mm-hmm. Kung ano yung naibigay, naibigay, at my BBG experience nung aming pelikula I'm proud of that. Uh that mine uh, that unfortunate accident let it be something of an experience na lang to the viewers. I leave it at that. I mean kung mas matuwa sila that's good. Kung ano maram, maramdaman nila that's sa, sa kanila na lang 'yon. Um but for me I kept it professional. Hindi ko na gustong putulin pa na mag uh ako kay direct iantala pa yung lahat kasi mainit nung araw na yun, unang-una, napakalamig ng tubig. So, it would be somewhat unprofessional for me to cut off the whole scene just to, uh, di ba, kabitan na lang ulit. Ako, I did my best. I, di- I just didn't know. Si Direk, hindi niya sinabi sa akin na may nandun na pala yung drone sa taas ko. Akala ko, tin- kasi may, shot, may, may camera sa likod namin. Eh. Sabi ko, okay, tatali ko na muna ako. And I dipped my waist down kasi sabi ko hindi mo papansin sa tubig. But I didn't know, nandun na pala. Akala mo <laughs> kung si Big Brother yun dating eh. So, wala. Ako... Kaya daw, ano, kaya daw nag number one tayo dahil sa, dahil dun sa picture mo. <laughs> <laughs> kung wala daw yung picture mo, di tayo mag number one. Uh, well, direct oh, baka direct naman. Power, Boss Rick, baka naman. Di ba? Baka masundan. <laughs> but yun nga, um... Right now, I think, sana lang, advi- ano lang na, yun lang, parang, hopefully they still maintain the respect even na may ganun tayong uh, photos na lumabas, di ba? Because we didn't put out the film to serve it as porn to everyone. We put out the film to serve as an education, as a big question to stimulate critical thinking as Direct Brillanti said. So, my my photo that should be the least of the concern and focus of this film and this topic, all in all. Thank you, Mr. Dean. Nice, Louise. Great answer. Very much. Thank work. you. Smart answer. Thank you very much. Okay, this next question naman is from Jude Cartalaba. Um, I'll go ahead and um, ask this question straight to Jella. If you find yourself in the same situation, would you be the type who would engage in the same sexual act with your partner? Okay, Jella. Are we okay now with Jella? Kung hindi pa siya okay, let's just go ahead and ask this statement to Kara. Kara, if you were in the situation, though, would you do the same sexual act with your partner? Okay ba mga girls natin? <laughs> oh, sige. Balikan natin sila while we're waiting them to come on board. I'll go ahead and ask the next question from Mercy Laharde of Bulgar. In real life, ba natin... Uh, ba natin turn on din kayo sa kapwa nyo babae or kapwa nyo lalaki, lalo na kung super pogi at super sexy. Okay. Who would like to answer that question? I'll, Rash, ikaw naman. Ah, sa akin? Ba? Turn on Sorry din pa, ba? ulit nga yung question natin. Ate Regina. Oh my. Uh, medyo, okay. I hope I'm saying this right, no? Miss Mercy, she's asking, in real life ba, na to turn on din kayo sa kapwa nyo babae or kapwa nyo lalaki, na kung super pogi at super or super sexy or both. Ah. Uh, para sa akin, yes. Na minsan na turn on ako pero hindi ko sinasabi ah nagaya ako. Parang umaanga lang. Umaanga. Na parang inaangaan mo siya minsan lalo na kung mabait. 
Tapos, uh, alam mo yun, parang minsan pag may problema ka na siya yung nalalapitan mo, parang umaanga ka sa kanya dahil sa sobrang kabahitan niya, ganun. Like, ano, parang katulad ko, may idol ako. Siyempre, may idol din ako na kapwa lalaki ko. Katulad ni Cesar Montano, yan, idol ko yan. Nung bata pa ako, idol ko yan hanggang ngayon. Eh. Uh, para sa akin, uh, natin turn on, parang hindi ko alam eh. Hindi ko alam kung turn on talaga yan or magkaiba ba yung turn on yung, saka yung umahanga? Maghanga siguro. Uh, uh, turn on, medyo may sexual uh, stimulation doon, I think. Ayun sa akin kasi, yun sa akin, yun nga. Sorry, sorry dun sa sabi ko kanina nung una. Yung sa akin, umahanga ako. Umahanga ako. Pero yung turn on, uh, parang malabo sa akin. Got it. Thank you, Rash. Great answer. Thank you. Next question naman is for, uh, it's, this is from Matt Suzara of La Quacherang Lover. Okay, this is to direct. Ano ang reaction niya na ang palitan ang isa sa pinaka matalang na pelikula sa Viva Max? Well, uh, of course, I'm happy. Uh, sabi ko nga nung nakita ng, ano, ng, ng, Nang, during the screening, no, and everybody congratulated me, including the actors, kung ganyan. So sabi ko, sana, sabi ko, no, sabi, sana itong, ano, itong, itong papuri, eh, mag-equate sa viewership. Diba? Kasi yun naman na importante, diba? So, and uh, I was surprised, talagang uh, pinanood siya, at maraming nanood, at nag-number one siya. So, hindi ko ina-expect, honestly. So, unang-una, dalawa pa ang pinalabas. So, siyempre, marami, may choice palagi, di ba? Kapag dalawa, mm-hmm. may choice. <laughs> o yun, kapag iwang pinili, so, ibig sabihin, uh, I'm, 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 I'm proud and I'm happy. Thank you, Derek. Okay, for the cast naman, after nyo napanood yung movie, ano ang reaction nyo? Uh, that's, I think we're waiting for the girl. So, Go ahead, Luis. You can answer this one. Ano reaction nyo sa performance nyo and are you willing to bear it all again sa inyong upcoming projects? Um, for me, uh, when I when I finished watching the whole film, well, uh, um, I was very happy because na just like Derek Brillante. Uh, dahil nga pinag-usapan namin lahat, yung pelikula, kung ano yung objective namin, what we want to uh, instigate. Uh, na-feel ko naman na we were able to um, start a conversation. Uh, to trigger yung critical thinking ng mga tao. Kasi even though wala kaming script sa kabuuan, nagawa namin magkaroon, magbuo, makabuo ng mga importanteng katanungan para sa ating society. Yun nga, uh, yung nabanggit kanina, yung target market is the ones, yung, yung mga, yung mga <laughs> hypocrites, di ba? But with that, na nakita ko yung film, I'm very happy na na-achieve namin yung main goal namin kasi it's all for the sake of craft. But also, we want to educate people and we want to continue educating people Whatever the role, it may be erotic or non-erotic, drama, action, whatever it is, we always want to stimulate um, critical thinking sa mga ating viewers. So hopefully, masundan pa, kahit na hindi yung mga gantong tema muna. <laughs> diba, Derek? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ano, DL na sa susunod kasi tapos ka na sa ganyan. DL na. <laughs> Okay, um, now let's go to Rodel Ocampo of Showbiz Republic. Na panood ko ang movie, anong reaction nyo kahit mga baguhan kayo ay nakaka-arty na kayo ng tama. At bakit kailangan panoorin ang pelikula nyo bukod sa maraming daring scenes at hubaran? Who would like to take this? Is Cara okay na? Yeah. Okay. Uh, pwede pa repeat ng ano, question. Okay, so actually this is like a double question. This is from Rodel. Um, he's asking, he watched the movie. Anong reaction nyo na kahit baguhan kayo, you acted very well. Magaling ang pag-arte nyo. And bakit kailangan panoorin ang palitan? Go ahead, Kara. Uh, una-una, uh, siguro, well, nakaka-proud naman talaga after namin panoorin yung palitan. Parang ang dali lang panoorin, ang dali lang na mga ginawa namin doon. 
do ang hirap ng ginawa namin during ginagawa namin yung scene na yun. Hirap na hirap kami, tapos napanood lang nila ng andali lang. So, um, sorry. Ay, nakamute. Ayan. Ayan. Ano ulit yung ano, follow-up question? Uh, bakit kailangan nila panoorin ng palitan? Okay. So, doon sa first question pala, no, dagdag ko lang. Uh, para sa akin, siguro, based on my experience na din kung paano ko na-acting yung tamang hinahanap ni Derek Brillante. So, parang nirelate ko talaga yung sarili ko dun sa character. Kailangan ipasok ko muna yung sarili ko dun sa character para maramdaman ko yung feeling as Jen. Yun. So, kailangan din natin, kailangan panoorin yung palitan kasi marami tayong matututunan. Lalo na yung pagtanggap sa sarili natin kung sino tayo. At ang pagsunod natin sa, hindi, hindi sa culture na kinalakihan natin, pero sundin naman natin yung puso natin. Thank you, Kara. Now, we have our last questions from Natalie Tomada, a Philippine star. This is directed to uh, Direct Brillante. Besides Palitan, what other projects can we expect from you for 2022? Well, siguro sa Viva Max na muna. <laughs> So, yung sa Viva Max, after this, baka we might show yung CCID. So, BL naman siya. So, ito, another way of uh, tackling the story also. Since nasanay na rin tayo pagdating sa BL, at naman naman natin na parang uh, yung ina-expect ng mga viewers, no? At saka yung target market natin uh, for this kind of film. So, kumbaga, kumbaga, uh, prepared tayo doon. But we also would like to surprise the viewers na hindi lang yung ina-expect nila ang mapapanood. Kundi they would see uh, something more. And then, meron din akong isang gagaw uh, na natapos na horror, no? horror story, yung bahay na pula, also for Viva Max. Again, it's a horror story, but we made sure na hindi lang, hindi lang matatakot ang mga target market natin. Kumbaga, matatakot sila, pero may madidiscover din silang ibang klaseng uh, pagkatakot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Thank you, Direk. Uh, just to add to that from Natalie Tomada, she's asking, uh, your two films, Marosa and Mindanao, as well as Verdict, which you produced, were previously submitted to the Oscars. Can we ask for Direk's opinion on the non-submission of a Filipino entry to the Oscars International Feature Film Category this year. What can you say, Padre? Thank you. This is my fourth question today. <laughs> anyway, uh, just to share with you guys, of course, as a filmmaker and as somebody na pinadala na yung film ko sa, sa Academy, you know, as a director and as a producer, of course, I'm sad. Okay, kasi part ako ng industry, eh, di ba? Kasi yun lang yung chance natin na... Uh, na may padala ang pelikula natin sa ibang sa academy so it's important but more than that i'd like to add okay of course uh pagkukulang yon ng film academy of the philippines no i don't know the reason why i haven't heard kung ano yung statement nila why they did not submit uh the film i'm sure they have their own reasons okay wag tayo masyadong uh kumbaga mag-assume Okay, na hindi lang sila basta nagpadala. Okay. Uh, ang, 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 the bigger question here, and I'd like to share this with our audience and with the people no, sa industry, okay, na hindi lang yung pagpapadala ng pelikula sa academy ang problema. Okay, so nasa ilang dekada na ang academy ngayon, 93rd, I don't know, mag-100 years na, and no Filipino film has ever made it. Uh, sa, sa 15, uh, whatever, wala. And I don't think it will gonna happen, okay, in the next decade or in the next year. For as long as we don't take sending films to Academy seriously. Okay, there's a uh, sending a film to the, to the Academy. It's not just a matter of choosing the films that we like, okay, locally. Kahit na blockbuster pa yung pelikula ng pin- uh, natin dito at pinili ng mga taong pumipili o nanap na panalunan niya lahat ang mga awards giving body dito sa Pilipinas for as long as the film is not parang global 
in terms of uh, story, okay, uh, hindi yan mapapansin ng academy. And napaka-complicated na uh, proseso niyan. Hindi lang yan basta mag-submit at basta napili. <laughs> it's, ang pag, pagpili ng film is the simplest, is the most simplest job na unang-unang ginagawa dito sa Pilipinas. Pag napili ka, okay, that's where the work start. Kasi pag napili ka, you're on your own. Ibig sabihin kung producer ka, bahala ka sa buhay mo. Kung director ka, bahala ka sa buhay mo. And it's not as simple as that. Okay? There's such thing as you have to reach to some, something like 10,000 academy members all over the world, not just from the United States. And you need a big publicity company to do that for you. Okay? And you need money to do that. In other words, kailangan mo na isang campaign, uh, campaign uh, uh, promotion or campaign uh, agency to do that for you. And you need money for that. And if you are an ordinary producer like me, okay, natapos na ang pelikula na hindi ko naman pinagkakitaan ang pelikula, and I need to spend another 5 or 10 million to promote the film, I'm not gonna do that. And nobody will gonna do that for you. So who should be doing that? Okay, so I think from the, from the, from the, from the, uh, <clears throat> from show business tayo sa industry itself, magkaisa muna tayo, ayusin muna natin na sarili natin because from the industry itself, something is wrong. Okay, nagbabangayan, I know because of our, of our crab mentality, we pull each others down. The usual Filipino way of, ano, parang a mentality, no? Okay, I think we have to heal ourselves, ourselves first. Okay, regardless of our political affiliation, regardless of our political colors, whatever it is, from the industry itself, Ayusin muna natin ang sarili natin. Pag naayos natin ang sarili natin, then we reach out to the right people. Sino ito mga stakeholders na to? Sino? Siguro ang gobyerno. Okay? Kung ang gobyerno, and as one, okay, at lumapit tayo sa gobyerno, okay, then probably the government will listen to us. And then let the government help us, the industry. Okay? And then that's the only time that we can seriously think about you know, sending the right film to the academy, then probably, probably, okay, makaka marinig tayo o makikita tayo o mapapanood tayo. But with the rate that we're going right now, I don't think that in the next year or the next decade, we will be heard by the academy. 